the portrayal of Prince Charles Edward Stuart in popular television series Outlander has been described as a travesty by Jacobite era historians and enthusiasts. The 1745 Association, which works to safeguard the history and heritage of the period, said the popular characterization of Bonnie Prince Charlie as an effeminate weakling was a hangover from the 18th century and must be challenged. The group will examine the caricature of the prince at the annual NTS-1745 Association Lecture on the Eve of the Battle of Culloden Anniversary in April. Details of the physical reality of the prince's time in Scotland will be examined during the lecture as well as the hundreds of miles he navigated both during the campaign and after Culloden, when he spent five months on the run in the Highlands and Islands. Chairman Michael Nevin said the prince had been depicted as an effete figure in both the 1964 docudrama Culloden and more recently in the hugely popular television series Outlander. Mr. Nevin said, whatever you may think of the prince's abilities or otherwise as a military commander, these portrayals are a travesty of the man he must have been. The popular picture of the prince as an effeminate weakling is a hangover from 18th century Hanoverian propaganda. There is no way that such a man could have mobilized the support he did, or completed the grueling odyssey from the Highlands to Derby and back. Speaking at this year's lecture will be Steve Lord, author of Walking with Charlie, who has researched the journeys that the Prince made across Scotland during the 1745 Rising. Lord has traveled many of the routes taken by Prince Charles over some of the most arduous terrain in the country. Lord will look at ten journeys made by the Prince including the 16.5 miles that he crossed between Dalley to Glenfinnan to raise the Jacobite standard on August 19, 1745. Within days, the prince was marching 20 miles with the Jacobite army from Glenslake and Fassfern to Glenloyalage in a bid to avoid the Hanoverian forces encamped at Fort William. Historian and author Maggie Craig agreed the prince had been unfairly characterized. She said, Charles has got an extremely bad press. I think a lot of it has come from propaganda of the time that has had very long legs. I think it is a false image of him. He rode on horseback and marched with his men. He liked to be one of the boys. Stars, the production company for Outlander, has been contacted for a comment.